Hello and welcome back to the Expella Cartel. We have now found our own home and our cozy hold over in a hole as a crackazole. Really hard to say, but got it out of my mouth anyways. And uh let's get it going. We could even uh restore our hold right now. Is there any uh things I need to figure out here before I should do so? No construction costs or anything. Maybe something in here. Defense forces, no. Yeah, let's just repair this bad boy. And uh, send out our colonists. Now we are going to have two provinces, and we are also bordering the stinky stolen gem over here, who's destroyed my will to live. And uh, yeah, oh, I don't want to do that. I do want to try and form the hold as soon as possible. So I can ally Rajnataga, and then maybe someone else, and also just... At least try and get this from the command, even if it, you know, costs me my friend's life. We'll see, though. It's just gonna be a uh, Dwarven Let's Play now, where we just have to pretty much wait and uh, colonize. Let's take this tech first, at least. Also, I need to set this on Pioneers, so it goes a little bit quicker. Since we do have our hold repaired, we can get stability and some prestige, and then we can also, for 150 dip, uh, get some more global settler increase. Oh my goodness. Discovery of the East has appeared to us, and uh, it's looking pretty bad. The Oni have taken pretty much the Northeast from the... um. Get what the tribal people were again? Not Mongolia, something like that. And it looks like the command is... Look out most of the Jia, they had the migrate south. And uh, Byungfang is uh, kind of getting demolished. They're attacking the Onis. And you know, you got Bavari and... The Rajas actually stand it up pretty well. And of course our old human friends in Rajnataga. They're doing really well. And they are a historical friend of ours. So we're definitely going to be able to get an alliance with them once we are able to. Also, we do have 18 Dwarven Knowledge, so it's 18 free development. I'm also wondering, if we're deving for a institution, does that actually, that second development from the Dwarven Knowledge boost this up as well? I mean, at least in our part of the Serpent Spine... It's mostly just the goblins, so we could easily wipe them out. And just like that, with enough money and time, the restoration of Hull as a Krakazol is finished. Towards a better tomorrow. So now, let me turn off a of 5 speed, because all I'm doing is just colonizing. Uh, let's see what we need to do here. I'm going to create an Emporium. I'm going to expand the infrastructure so it makes it easier to dev. I'm going to go do the dev policy, and we are actually going to wait three years now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't know why I was trying to get ready to um, build up there. I was just talking about getting to colonialism first. But we can get our hold repaired. Do repairs here and there. We can make this ruined shelter look like a true dwarven settlement. The Dwarf Fortress kind of beat. We can also clear the way. Let's get some more settler increase. Also can take the next idea for offensive. They might just take the next one as well, because that siege ability is pretty great. And then we also get blood and steel for more morale of armies. Part of the uh, generic adventurer ideas for the dwarves, I'm assuming. Not like the Scani adventures or anything. I don't really remember. Oh, of course. <sighs> Ashen skies. We don't get demonetized for that. We are making zero crowns per month, which is perfect. I never thought it would ever happen. But here we are. Yeah, let's speed this up again. I really wish I got in here, though. Because the only way to get here now is to go all the way around, and there's no way we're going to be able to do that. Even with this amazing colonizing speed, 
at like 30% chance, 100 per year, it's just not going to be enough. I kind of wish you could boost colonial maintenance to give you even more. Like countries that dump a ton of money into colonizing back in the day. But alas, E4. We can get our next idea, but I probably won't. Yeah, we're above force limit because I switched off of the uh, marches, so that's fine for now. Oh, great. Move on here to the next province. And it looks like the command is attacking the Jia again, and they're being defended by Byungfang, who is also in another war. So, yeah. Good for you, I guess. And, um, they're probably going to reset the truce or take more stuff. Yeah. It's not looking good in the east. I just saw Dame Steer in that province. How many are there? A couple. More than usual, actually. I don't know how those events really pop up. Probably gonna pop up in our hold. Oh, okay. I think colonialism has now spawned. So let's uh get a move on. So look at this. You have five development, and for 20 points, it's now at seven. Let's go, baby. What I've been waiting for! Boost that up again. Maybe do a little bit of mill. No, don't burn it down. Maybe some uh, adamant as well. Boost up the infrastructure so it's still cheap. Probably just going to get the 40 whenever this stops. Oh, it looks like it does help out there. It's all that, like, huge jump. And then, I mean... Might as well just go one more so we can dig down again. Embrace colonialism, get that provincial trade, and make it so the malices go away. Stinky, bad malices. And we can also... Dig even deeper, and it's actually pretty cheap. What's our construction costs? I think as dwarves we do have reduced construction costs. I've just never seen it this low. Maybe it's because it's not blown up and destroyed like every other hold I get. Now we have a really decent hold that has a coexisting goblin minority. Large minority at that. I wonder what that even entails, that like... 30% of the population or something. I don't know, I'm just so used to stuff like uh, mayo and taxes. Super in-depth with like a bunch of random nonsense that tries to kill my computer and definitely succeeds. Oh yeah, how much dwarven knowledge do we even have left? We still have six, so that's 12 more development we can pump into this hold here. Which I'm definitely going to do to get to 50 so we can dig down yet again. And just start going to town on this not town old more like so don't really have that good of a general yeah that's that's way better yeah yeah we still only have nine years left for our door of our claimer so once this province is done i'm going to switch to uh, the hold because we need three cities i know we're going to be at minus uh, 25 admin efficiency because we're only getting half back for the reforms and the next reform is going to come in like way past our modifier running out so I'm just going to do it anyways because we're already getting a 20% malice from oh great We're already getting a 20% malice for um, the pioneers anyways, and we're not really conquering anything at the moment. It's really not that bad. Maybe it'll be pretty bad once we get over to Chain Grasper. That's so far away, as in probably like 20 years or so. I mean, miltech wise if we're both at 9, like Rajnathaga and me and... 
hopefully the Raj, and if I can get them all in the same boat with me. I think we could take on the command, as I look at their 106,000 and uh, all their little friends that they have. Well, I guess indentured servants at this point. <laughs> I mean, the goblins are definitely here just the dig, right? I'm assuming. What are they considered? Underneath them. Oh, slave state. Yeah, just friends. It's a little complicated. I'll just call it that. Let's get this and that. Let's get the remnant name I hate pronouncing. All right, looks like that last road is complete. Let's take control expansion and then let's form over to Hull as Krekazol. The legendary hall of brewmasters. Hull as Krekazol features incredibly in the lore and myth of Helles as a place where the infamous Krekazol ale was made. Magical ale that was consumed by the drunken martial artists of Helles. Now I gotta figure out how to do this whole situation. Let's see what goes on here. We now have our monarchy. Let's get this all figured out real quick. That's that done and taken care of. Basically, I just went through. Got all the decent privileges that I'm aware of. So all of the monarch point ones, the colonial charters. Wow, that sucks to see that. Come on, man. Dude, even Chain Grasper is growing over here. Are you serious right now? Yeah, we do have pretty bad admin efficiency, but it's just what it's got to be for now. I don't know why I'm just sitting on my hands here. Not getting this. Yeah, we did trade off a bit of a colonial growth, but we do have a more settler chance, which is always great. And of course, as whole as Krasikol, Krakazol, we do have our own mission tree, and we can ally the Raj. So the first part of Hull as Krakazol's mission tree is to find the key, which we originally were missing because of our uh, drunken stupor. When Hull as Krakazol was abandoned in the millennium that is now known as the last days of the Dorovar, our forefathers had to lock the doors to the Great Hold, so that our enemies wouldn't spill over into Rahan. As centuries later, it is our honor, nay our duty, to open the gates once more and let Rahan bear witness to our revival. No longer will Hull as Krakazol be a desolate hold. There's only one problem, though. Where do we put that key again? So now we have to go over and do an expedition in our own hold. I definitely will be doing. Let's just get five men for that. Well, 5,000, but you know. Get that ready. Wish there was a way to expose ourselves to the Rahani so we can get the Raj to acknowledge that we do exist. But it's going to take a while. I don't know when our... The knowledge of ourselves spreads to them, really. Expedition uh, menu, all as Krakazol. Organize. So it's silver and short. It's like a different type of dwarf we know. Let's send 5,000 men. Uh, probably won't need that much in the way of things. I mean, I don't even want to boost morale. Yeah, no, I think this will be completely fine. So I don't know if having more men reduces supplies fast or anything, like you would actually think, but who knows. Immediately got our wandering husks where we have our innovative ideas, helping us in extracting poison when we can. There we go, some free morale immediately, some organization as well. We can start building here. I am going to build a temple because... I did get an agenda for this so I could seize land after giving out a ton of privileges. And that will give us a free base tax here as well. I don't want to really dev at the moment because we did get hard diggable rock. So it is 20% more expensive, but it comes down to it, I'll do it anyways. 
We really can't get any other friends to help us out here. Oh yeah, and it seems like one of our main missions is to take Elmine. Awesome. At first I was just wanting this whole area because, you know, it makes sense. Especially this nice choking, choking hole. A choke point up to the north. But yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. It looks like the Raj is now at war. I mean, not at war anymore, jeez. I mean, he personally could just take on the command alone with his allies. Like, if he takes us, you know, Denijan Raj, Bavari, I mean, who else did I ally with um, them in the past life? They were allied with Byung-Fung, but I'm assuming they just got dabbed on the entire time. I just need to get west as soon as possible. Our own little journey to the west, and then once that's all centralized and ready, I just need to come back east and deal with the command and all their little friendly states, because, uh, yeah, this is locking this entire part of the tree, especially... Seems like with Alemine, it does give us a permanent claim on the chain grasper hold. And yeah, I'm losing out on a little bit of stuff. Like, you know, permanent claims, lowered autonomy, free stability. You know, just not that crazy stuff. The adventurers just took land from me for like no reason at all. Well, damn. So yeah, I'm not going to wait until printing press. And speaking of 1510, I'm pretty sure that's when our claimer buff goes away. So there's no real point in even trying to bother fighting the command right now. It's just, just not enough manpower. Bell's already to here. Like, Mead Rock. I would go in and burn down Ale Mine and then maybe give away some of Rajan Haga's provinces to um, peace out, but that just seems like way too much just for so little land. Well, looks like we got a goblin summoner. Chatting and screaming, the scouts arrive at the camp and warn the others of the looming threat when the elemental already circles around the last corner, smashing dripstones and hurling boulders in its way. You need to fight it, try to find and kill a mage, or fall back. Let's try and kill the mage, honestly. Great, it was a grave arrow with a swing of his wand. The whole cave. Ah, nice. I don't know if that was intentional or not. The whole cave will suddenly fill the elementals that ambush us from all sides, seemingly shifting out of the very walls. We were outnumbered, or at least overpowered. More soldiers and even more lowered morale. Hopefully this expedition will end soon, because as soon as that morale hits zero, it's kind of done. It's going to be so over. Get some more eyes in the dark. Are you serious? Let's leave it alone. Alright, good. You know, when it comes to weird, like, spirits in hallways and stuff, just leave it alone. Don't even bother. I don't know how you would even bother killing it, but... There we go. The modifier is gone. That sucks so much. We're so much weaker now, but it's just what it's got to be. I barely did anything with it as well, but everyone else in the Dorvar is going to be just as weak or even weaker than us, so. All right, looks like our expedition has returned, and they have found the key. And then let's just send them back to our manpower pool. 230 coins, 76 at each power. We are going to go over our dip cap, so let's go and do this. Get some uh, dip costs. Sweet. <laughs> and power pool. Also, in the next development, we'll be able to increase infrastructure. But now with that, we have found the key. And we also have something involving the lush lands of Rajanhaga, which has been our home for our people for ages. In a time of need, they have taken us in and offered us shelter, a service to our people that we shall never forget. The lands have become a second home to us, where we lived in peace and prosperity, but now, with our ancestral hold reclaimed, 
And the great doors are open once more, and it's time to approach our friends again, not to ask for something, but to offer something in return. Formalize this friendship and pledge ourselves as kin. So, uh... We just lose 100 Diplo. Awesome. I'm assuming with one of the, um... Prerequisites being a rival, maybe it'll switch their attitude towards us. For the 100 Diplo, but nah, I just gave it to them for free. Actually, I didn't give them anything, I just threw it into the void. Awesome. And also, of course, as this hold, we need to start brewing. Every good adventure always starts in a tavern, so why should why should starting a nation be any different? The very first tavern in a hole as Krakazol has its grand reopening, we ran into a teensy tiny problem. We have no ale. No ale. Let's serve in chapter 1 of how to build your air house. Let me guess, it's ale. We did somehow start with wine, which is perfect. It seems like once we have a level 2 hold, which we do. Oh, hold on. A little bit of a workish nonsense going on here. Level 2 hold. 15 production, which we definitely do, and then we need a workshop, which I'm building now, and then we can get a trade value modifier on our hold permanently. And knock out these orcs real quick. Well, peasants, apparently. And perfect. Now we are getting our brewing going. Let's go check out that trade modifier. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And I think with our brewery finally starting, I'm going to end this episode here. We've done a lot. We've formed our hold. We've started making our own ale. We're still trying to figure out what to do with the command, but that will come in due time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.